Alright, so today it is Foundation Friday. I'm wearing pink today. It's not black. So today we're gonna to be talking all about the new NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I keep wanting to say Total Cover, L'Oreal. Have a review on that one. So it has been a struggle and a half trying to get my hands on this foundation. I actually ordered the shade 01 Pale when it first came out online the day it went up actually, and it took 14 days to get here from the NYX website, 14 days. Then when I actually got this and swatched it to see the shade, this is very, very pale. You'll see in swatches how light this is. This foundation comes in 24 shades, which I think is amazing. And it looks like it goes pretty deep and it definitely goes very, very light. So basically when I got this in the mail, I went on an entire hunt throughout Seattle. I think I went to eight stores total to try and find the right shade. I ended up actually getting 06 vanilla. I figured I might as well go dark and then we can mix the two shades. I did end up picking up the brush that you're supposed to apply this foundation with. Both of these retail for $14. In the foundation, you get 0.43 fluid ounces of product, so not a full ounce, but four drops of this is supposed to be full coverage. We'll see. Two drops is light coverage, three drops is medium coverage, and four for full coverage. It is a frosted glass bottle, so nice packaging. $14 for a drugstore foundation is on the higher end. Looking on the NYX website, let's read some of the claims. It says it's a velvety matte foundation. Simply adjust the number of drops until you create the look you're feeling today. <laughs> Want more coverage? Add more drops. That's all it says. You do have a very basic shade finder online. You basically just click the face that you think you look like. So I'm gonna insert swatches right now of this foundation compared to some of the other foundations that I own. I'm gonna swatch both shades just so you can see them. All right, so swatch time, if this will focus. Here's the NYX Drop Foundation in 01. Here's it in the shade 06. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation in the new lightest shade Porcelain. Fourth over is Dermacol 208, which is actually an almost exact match to me. I'd say Dermacol 208 and the Etude House BB Big Cover Foundation in lighter shade are my closest matches. There's the Josie Marin Argon Foundation in RG5. There's the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the lighter shade. Like always, I'll leave the Foundation Friday playlist down below, but I do new first impression videos every single day day. I was going to say every single day. Every single Friday on my channel, 6 p.m. Pacific time, I upload Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Everything I use today and everything that's on my face is in the description box. If you want to see my thoughts on the NYX Total Control Foundation, you're in the right place. Just keep watching. So I lost all of my hair clips. Where did they disappear? Hair clips are like socks. Where do they actually go? I'm convinced that somewhere on earth there's a giant stack of bobby pins, socks, and hair clips. So my skin right now is freaking out. First off, burned my face with a curling iron, so that's what that is. I have some major breakouts down here right now. Uh, pretty much all over my skin has not been good the past couple weeks. I've already washed, moisturized, and primed my face, used my Jouer Anti-Blemish Matte Primer like normal, and I actually did pick up their foundation brush as well. If I can get this thing undone. Literally going in with the big boys. This is just a curved angled brush. It has a little bit of a dip to it. I kind of thought it was gonna have a hole in the middle like the Unique brush does and the Bare Minerals brush, but this one doesn't. I should probably wash this before I put it on my face, but technicalities. I also have my e.l.f. brush on one side. I'll link the exact one down below and then this Pure Cosmetic sponge. So if you're new here, I have combination skin with cystic acne. I get pretty oily throughout the day on my T-zone. So I think I'm gonna end up mixing these two shades because this one looks a bit dark and 01 is extremely light. Let's shake these up. Super liquidy. Whoa. So all the videos that NYX has been posting on Instagram show people dropping it directly into the brush. We'll try that. That rarely, almost never works out for me. I usually have to kind of stipple it onto a palette and then apply it to my face or dot it onto my face and then blend out. Since I haven't swatched this 06 shade yet on my face, I'm actually just gonna put a little bit to see if I need to mix it. Oh, I don't know. I've never been above a 02 shade in my life. This is crazy. Let's just try the 06 shade first and then I might mix in a couple drops of the other one. It just says simply adjust the number of drops until desired level of coverage is achieved. More drops equals more coverage. I'm gonna drop it first in this brush and I'm gonna do four, one, two, three, four, like they say that is full coverage. And I'm assuming that they, Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think anything actually came out on my face. Okay, we're not doing that. I'm gonna drop it straight onto my face. One, two, attempting not to hit my face with the thing. Four-ish, okay. Now let's kind of blend this out. Definitely should not put this in your brush. 
When they say four drops, I'm assuming they meant four drops for your entire face should be full coverage. Four drops on a quarter of my face, basically. We're looking like medium coverage. In here, the shade is looking like a pretty good match, actually. It's always hard to tell in this lighting until I step outside, but I think the shade is pretty good. I'm gonna put three drops on a palette and just stipple the same brush in and apply it to this half of my forehead. This brush is soft. What did I just get a whiff of? I just got a whiff of some smell. Let's see how much this covers on this side with the e.l.f. brush. I actually think I like just dropping this directly onto my face. So one, two, three, four. We'll see if this covers any of my acne and the scar right here. I think I prefer this brush to the NYX one. It's just less flimsy and it's just easier to blend out faster. You can still see the scar, you can still see freckles, you can still see lots of acne coming through down here. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Almost had a foundation eyebrow. That didn't do a whole lot. It says use as many drops as you want for more coverage. So I'm going in again because to me with that amount, it looks like barely medium coverage, like very light medium coverage. I'm gonna try the sponge on this side of my face for a second layer and then we'll use the brush again on the other side. And I'm just gonna do five. Wow, this is so liquidy. Yeah. Okay, this I would say is medium coverage. I think now we are at solid medium coverage with five more drops. So right now I have about nine drops just on this portion of my face. If you were using this to get good coverage, I feel like you would go through this bottle pretty quickly. I don't know if I love how this is sitting on my face, but we'll talk about that in a second. So for a second layer on this side, I'm gonna go back in with this e.l.f. brush. I'm gonna do five drops again. Feels very lightweight, kind of like the Maybelline Dream Wonder. This side, I don't feel like my scarring and freckles are totally covered, so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more since it says you can. Oh, shit. That just went right on my shirt. <laughs> now we're talking. Now, with three more drops on this side, I got the kind of coverage I normally like. This side actually looks a little bit patchy, I just noticed. So I think to actually get full coverage, you would have to use way more product than they say. There's no way in hell four drops would give you full coverage unless you have flawless skin to begin with. I'm gonna add one more drop just to see if I can cover this acne a little more, just on this spot. So if you build this up, it will cover. You're just gonna have to majorly, majorly build this up if you actually want coverage. Right now, it doesn't look amazing. It looks like it's a little bit textured in some areas, like around my nose and in the center of my forehead. But my cheeks look pretty good. My forehead feels like it's pretty much set. It is transferring a little bit. Right now it's 926. I think I am gonna powder my face with this one just because, I don't know, I think it might slide around a little bit. So I am gonna powder. I hope that's not the wrong decision. Okay, so it's now 941. I actually finished my face makeup at 930, so we're calling the check-in time 930. So I did set this with the powder. I ended up using the Celebration Foundation Illumination by It Cosmetics, and I'm very glad I did because I like it 50 times better now. I think once I put this powder on, it kind of took away the weird, I wanna say chalky, but there was almost like this dry texture to it. And now that I have this powder on, it, everything just looks a lot more smooth and even. Doesn't look like there's a ton of product sitting on top of it, even though there is. Still looks a little textured on my nose and the center of my forehead. For bronzer slash, I did a really natural kind of bronze contour today. I used the Essence Light Up Your Face palette, this shade right here, and you really have to build this up. Blush is the All Made Nude Mauve 20. I love this blush, I've been reaching for this a lot. And then my highlight is Essence Eyeshadow in 08 Apricotta. Eyes, I used two of the new ColourPop shadows. I'm debating doing a full video on these just because, spoiler alert, I'm pretty impressed. My crease, I used the shade Wake Up Call. And then on my lid, I used Liar Liar. And then Lips is the new Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick in the shade Back Talk. And these, I have very mixed feelings on. They go on very thin and pretty sheer for a liquid lipstick. They're not super opaque, so you kind of have to go over it a couple times. But when you do, it dries down. We'll see how this works throughout the day too. So 9.30 is the check-in time. The next check-in I do will be in natural lighting so you guys can see how it looks in real light. I'm gonna get up close so you can see everything right now. Keep in mind that there are giant studio lights blurring everything out. 
So I will be back in a few hours. Okay, so it's now two o'clock, so it's been on for four and a half hours. So I don't know if it's oxidized a little bit or if I just can actually see the shade, but as you can see, here's my neck and then you can see where the foundation kind of stops right here. So I think that shade actually is a bit dark. And you just see my face like this, it looks fine, but it definitely is darker than my chest. To me, it's just looking pretty average. I don't love the way it's sitting on my skin. I also don't hate it. It's looking a little bit crustier on my nose, nothing horrible. I'm not getting any major creasing on my upper lip yet at least my forehead looks good i've been majorly adulting for the last four hours dealing with health care and taxes fun day i'm gonna keep this on until the end of the night and i will check back with you guys then so it's now 8 17 so it's been on for almost 11 hours i literally just walked in the door hence my jacket and scarf that i know got my nails done i was running errands and when i was in one of the stores around 4 30 i looked in the mirror and i looked pretty oily, like I was starting to get oily at that point already. From that point, it actually hasn't gotten too much worse. The oil actually isn't horrible for me. I can get a lot oilier than this. I do have crease lines on my upper lip and around my nose. It's looking a lot more flattering in this lighting. When I was actually out and looking in the car mirror and stuff, it didn't look super great. Do I think this one is worth it? No. Coverage aside, even if you like light coverage, I think there are way better light coverage foundations out there. $14 isn't a super cheap foundation. I just think that there are better, lighter coverage foundations on the market, drugstore and high end. There's something about this one that I don't quite like. It almost reminds me of the hard candy drops and the Unique foundation, definitely not nearly as bad as the Unique foundation, not that oily, not that greasy at all. But there's something about this, just the texture of it, I don't know, I don't like it. Coverage, I did obviously build it up pretty well. I just don't think I would spend that much time putting 50 drops of foundation on my face every day. Four drops to get full coverage is just not reality. Honestly, I don't know how two drops could even cover your entire face, even if you have good skin. So if you like even medium coverage, I don't really think this one is worth it just because the amount of product you have to use. If you have pretty good skin and you're just looking for something to even out your skin tone, maybe? I just don't think it's worth the money. That is just my opinion. Like I always say, do your own research. It's your money. If you want to buy a product, go for it. Test it. Try it. Everyone has different opinions. Something that I love, you might hate. Something that I hate, you might love. Wow, I feel like I just totally shat on that. Yeah, I just don't know if I would spend $14 on this. Actually, I know I wouldn't. I would not. Oh, I also changed my lip color. This is Too Faced Cool Girl liquid lipstick. The Urban Decay one started wearing off a little bit and I just wasn't feeling the pink for like going out and running errands, so I just put this on. If you guys like Foundation Friday videos, make sure you give this a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. You can always let me know down below what foundations you wanna see next in the comments section. Love you guys, thanks for watching. See you in my next video, bye.